Hey everybody, this is Megan Hall here with Today in Pickleball. I'm here at the Diadem headquarters in Pompano Beach, Florida with the co-founder, Evan Speck. Hi. How's it going? Hi, Megan. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> no problem. We just got back from Diacon. We are here at the Diadem headquarters. Evan, can you tell us a little bit about Diacon and the party that it was? Yeah, well, it ended up being a pretty big party, but uh, it was a great event for us. 300 of our closest friends, our retailers, we had distributors from all over the world uh, come to the Hard Rock. So uh, it, it was a chance for us to meet some people that we hadn't met uh, and re-engage with some of our, our good retailers and partners. And we were able to put on a show uh, unveiling the vice and kind of the future of Diet and Pickleball for 2023. So at Diacon, you introduced the vice paddle um, so tell us what is so special about the vice paddle. Well, yeah, the vice paddle has a lot of features that are uh, very unique and make it very special. Uh, one of the features is we've replaced honeycomb with EVA foam. So this is a product that has been around in sports equipment for a very long time. You'll see EVA foam in the soles of shoes. Uh, it's in football helmets, it's in obviously Padel paddles, which is where we, we have the closest comparison and what we're, we're working on those as well. So we were able to learn a little bit about uh, the benefits of EVA foam. Um, and, uh, you know, of course, it's got holes in it. Everybody is, is kind of asking what's up with the holes. So we have holes in it uh, and then it's a molded paddle. So it's, it's no edge guard, molded construction, um, very durable. Okay, so so why did you create this EVA foam vice paddle? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, this was actually a product of about two and a half years of development. So when we first got into pickleball, we really wanted to create products that were unique, that were performance based, that were forward thinking. Um, you know, of course, we we love the history of pickleball, uh, just like we love the history of tennis when we were getting into tennis, but you know, we're always looking at how we can make the sport better. Um, we feel pickleball has gone from wood to you know, composites with a honeycomb core, and we think that this could be the next evolution. Um, it, is, it is a great paddle, and it's also very, very good for the player in terms of their arm comfort. It's better for the sound. Um, and uh, that's, that's it. There's been a lot of talk in the forums, online, if this paddle is going to be approved by USA Pickleball. Uh, do you expect it to be approved? Is that your goal? Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, um, this paddle is a concept paddle. So this paddle is not something that we're looking to get approved. We have no plans to get it approved. We do not think it would be approved by the USAP at this time. Our goal with it was to show a glimpse into what pickleball could be in the future. It was also our kind of process to create all these new technologies that we're going to use in our future lines of paddles that we're coming out with in 2023 that are USAP approved. So some of the technology in this paddle is approved and some of it is not approved. This isn't a paddle meant to be used in tournaments right now. So what makes this paddle unapproved right. by USA Pickleball? Right, so the main thing that is unapproved are obviously the holes in the surface, which a lot of people said, why put holes in the surface? It's gonna be unapproved. That was kind of the point. We wanted to show that this paddle is not approved. We're not you know, trying to slide something by anybody and get this paddle out there and maybe it's approved and you see someone paint it black and play in a tournament and it turns out it was this paddle all along. This paddle is clearly not approved and that's why, <laughs> that's why, one of the reasons why I put the holes in it. The main reason that it's not approved beyond that is the EVA foam throughout the entire core has allowed it to compress and deflect beyond what is allowed. So if you hit the ball or you even squeeze the paddle, you'll feel it kind of squish in your hands. That's great for your arm, it's great for power, it's great for touch, it's great for spin, um, but yes, it would not be approved. And uh, I think that in the long run, uh, people are just gonna have a lot of fun with this paddle. Okay, so why would someone buy a paddle that's not approved? We've kind of looked at the market and we've seen the growth over the last few years. I think we're at, I mean, 
I could be conservative and say 90% of people don't play in USAP approved, uh, approved tournaments or sanctioned tournaments. I think there's a huge goal by everybody in the space to do get to 40 million people by 2030. I mean, that's what another 30 million, 35 million people playing. I mean, what equipment are they looking for? So we just wanted to kind of put this out there as a fun alternative, as a glimpse to the future. Uh, I think there's potential that people are gonna enjoy this more. I think it might be beneficial to some players that are having arm issues. I think it might be uh, maybe that second paddle in your bag that you, you play around with and work on some fun shots. Um, so I think there's a lot of reasons. I mean, for us, we wanted to create it because we wanted to have fun. We wanted to have fun playing pickleball. We wanted to push the sport further. And so I think maybe there's some people out there that agree with that. Right. And I think, I think, like you said, there are millions and millions of players who are out there playing who don't play in tournaments. Yeah. And so what's going to be the most amount of fun? I think everyone comes into this sport, uh, you know, wanting to have fun and, and that's why they love it. And so if there can be a paddle out there, that's kind of ahead of its time that people can use and it's easier on their body. It's, it generates more power. Um, and they just have more fun using it, why, why not put it out there? Yeah, we think that you know everyone has different opinions. We think everyone has different goals with, with what they get out of their equipment. And at the end of the day, the construction and the materials in this paddle are well advanced of what a lot of the paddles on the market are today. So um, you know, we wanted to create a paddle that was durable. The EVA foam uh, is, is much superior in many ways to the, to the honeycomb where you can have it damaged very easy, where it goes dead. And how many people have complained about their paddles going dead? This isn't gonna happen. Um, so you know, lo paddle longevity, it's Paddle to... longevity, it, it's a proven material that's in all sorts of sports equipment. And, and it's a proven material for dampening sound. It's a proven material for comfort in helmets. Um, and you know, at the end of the day too, I mean, think of how many baseball bats are available that are not used in the major league? How many golf clubs are available that are not used in the major leagues or in tournaments? So, you know, uh, some people are going to want to experiment with the best possible equipment, and this is gonna be it. So you, we've seen over the course of time, many sports develop. We've seen it in basketball, we've seen it in tennis, and pickleball is just kind of at its inception. Mm -hmm. So Didem is trying to push the boundaries to new heights in the equipment world in pickleball. Yeah. So what is your goal with that? Yeah, that is pretty much the goal. We, we don't know what the future holds. We're, we're not saying that everyone should be using this paddle or the USAP should change the rules to use this paddle. We just wanna put it out there. I mean, nobody knows until you try it. Nobody knows what the future could be until somebody makes that future. And so that's what we did with this paddle. Uh, we talked about it for a long time. We, we talked to people and you know, it, it was just a conception. It was just an idea. So we made it. We have the ability to make it, and so we did. And uh, we're excited to see what the feedback is from just average pickleball players, from pro pickleball players, from leagues. Um, and we, we want to see if, uh, if this is the future or if this isn't the future. We don't know. One of the biggest challenges of pickleball is the noise. It's preventing the growth of pickleball in some communities that are concerned about noise. So you said that the eva foam is to help with that was that one of your goals as well yeah absolutely when we first started developing pickleball paddles that was actually one of the key things that a lot of people were saying as, as a problem with the sport uh, i think since then pickleball's grown so much that a lot of people are are becoming addicted and they don't care about the noise and they go you know what this noise is okay because i love playing the sport but in certain communities golf clubs or just certain areas around the country that aren't 100% into pickleball, the noise is, a, is an issue. Um, and, and part of it is the loudness and part of it is the pitch. This kind of combats both. So it's a, it's a much more soothing uh, and more dull sound. So it actually, after a few hits, because it's different when you first hit with it, after a few hits, you, you really start to realize, wow, I really like this sound. It's actually a much better sound. And of course, the people that aren't playing and trying to eat their breakfast over there, they, it doesn't bother them as much. Right, in a lot of areas, it, it's not, it's not that just they don't like the noise, but there might be homes by yeah. pickleball courts in public places and private places. So this paddle is really combating that. Yeah, I think in general, pickleball is you know an exponential trajectory, but I do think that this could help progress it even further. And you know, we have distributors 
all over the world. I mean, at, at uh, Daikon, our Japanese team was in from Tokyo, and you know they're super excited about pickleball. And, and, and of course, something like this would be much more interesting to them than you know a paddle from five years ago with a honeycomb core that makes a loud noise and has a, a tough edge guard because they're you know super excited for new technologies they're super excited for for new games that they can play in the space that is limited and uh this is perfect for them what are you going to say to the pickleball purist that's going to say this is going to bring the game to a different space you know we like the paddles the way they are well, yeah, I think that there's definitely some people that don't want to see the sport change at all, but the rules are ever changing, right? They're constantly adjusting. Uh, and for us, we're just an equipment company and we just want to make the best equipment for players. We want to give them the best experience. And you know, what we always say is the great players will adapt, the pros would adapt. So if they played with this paddle, I bet you would see the quality of the pro increase significantly and we have seen some of the pros use it and they're coming up with shots that you would never believe so in one in one way you can look at it is you know if we can get on sports center more with amazing shots why not you know so we'll see again what the future holds i think there's going to be millions and millions of people pouring into the sport so they're not going to come in with any uh predisposition of what they should be using they want to use the best equipment they possibly can okay so i played with this paddle it's got a lot of speed a lot of pop what are you going to say to the pickleball player that uh, doesn't want to see the game progress in terms of speed and wants sure. to keep the game at a slower pace sure um i think that first of all with this paddle you, it is very powerful when you want it to be it's also because it's so soft it's got amazing touch because it pockets the ball with that deflection it's got amazing spin so when you actually hit the ball it can dip in all sorts of ways but yes you can put away shots you can pass people from the baseline um, but we always again look to just other sports that are a little bit further along in their progression um, whereas pickleball is more in the infancy of at least the pro level speed it always picks up you look at you look at tennis where it goes from wood and uh, natural gut strings to carbon fiber polyester strings. I mean, you got guys serving 150 miles an hour, right? I mean, you got, you got passing shots. Nadal can do things that nobody ever imagined could happen and couldn't have happened with a wood racket. And I think all that's done is create millions and millions of fans, let alone millions of players. But you know, it'll be exciting when there's millions of fans that don't even play, but just want to watch the great players play. Um, and I think this is the path, you know, one of the pathways to get there. You've talked about this being a concept paddle. We've seen it online. We've seen it in this interview. What is a concept paddle? A concept paddle is uh, just basically us throwing every idea, every potential technology, every thought that we had of would this work, wouldn't this work, and we put it into a functioning, usable piece of equipment. And, and so what we did then was learn from all this new technology and see what can we use in our future paddles that will be USAP approved and, and what we can't. So for example, I mean, we've seen people ask, if you're gonna make an illegal paddle, why not make it so far past the rules that you know your, the paddle is has a huge face and and all this stuff i mean at the end of the day this is a pickleball paddle you know if you if you put a tennis racket on a court it's it's not a pickleball paddle you probably wouldn't play very well with it but like this face is legal um you know the molded construction is legal there's a lot of aspects that are very unique and very useful that we'll be putting into our future paddles and and we're basically we we start very high with this concept and then we work our way back and, and use the technology that we can. Diacon felt very much like a tech conference where they are unveiling all sorts of new technologies. It felt very much like that. I don't know if that was the goal. Yeah, no, it, it definitely was. And actually our presenter, I mean, he was kind of channeling Steve Jobs a little bit up there in a fun way because we love pickleball and it's fun and that's kind of the vibe. But um, I think that's exactly what the idea of the concept paddle is as well. It's, it's a glimpse into the future, just like you would see at a Mercedes show with like tricked out wheels and these things that will never see the light of day. Uh, what's cool about this is 
you will see it. It's available in a couple of weeks and everyone can try it and everyone can give their opinion. Um, but that's, that's the whole concept. I mean, we're a very tech driven company. Uh, we, you know, in both in our tennis and pickleball space, we're, we're using motion capture when we're developing stuff, when we're, when we're customizing people's equipment. Uh, and so this is just the next evolution of who we are. So if you could say one thing to uh, the pickleball players that are out there that are, you know, thinking about buying this paddle, what would you say? And then what would you say to USA Pickleball to get them to open up their minds to this concept paddle? Well, to the average player, I would channel Corbin and I would say, release your vice. I would say, let's go have some fun. Let's give it a try. Let's, let's see what, what we like about it, what we don't like about it. Let's give us feedback. Let's, let's help build the future of pickleball for all those 20, 30 million people coming next. You know what I mean? We're all here right. at the beginning. So it's, it's really cool. Um, to USA Pickleball, it, it's, oh, I'm not going to say anything. I mean, we're going to follow their rules. We're going to do whatever they say. They're the governing body here in the United States and, and they're working with people around the world. So we definitely are creating a lot of great paddles that are available for our pros to play in tournaments. But we're also going to just, like I said, show people what else is out there, what else is possible. And uh, there's a lot of people that just aren't going to play tournaments and this is going to be a great paddle for them. So to USA Pickleball, uh, you know, we have a great relationship with them. We always have worked collaboratively with them um, and we respect what they're doing as the, you know, the governing body of the sport. But, you know, we've also felt that Diadem and all other brands, you know, should work together with USA Pickleball in moving the sport forward, you know, seeing what opportunities there are to improve uh, the equipment side, you know, and uh, this is, you know, maybe a, a talking point. So I personally love this paddle. I've tried it. I've used it in clinics. Um, I've used it to hit around a little bit out on the court with some friends. I love it. Um, really excited for Diadem. Where can someone get one of these paddles, one of these vice paddles? Yeah, so they're, they're launching December 2nd. Um, you can pre-order on our website right now. And of course, all of our retailers, from the online retailers to the, the local shops that we work with all over the country, will have it uh, by December 2nd. So uh, it, if you were lucky enough or you decided to show up to Diacon and you're, you were there, you got one already. If not, uh, it's coming soon. This is Megan from Today in Pickleball signing off from Diadem Headquarters. Thanks, Evan, for having me and see you guys on the courts.